from last two videos i'm talking about companion object i'm, I'm saying that at the end of every video i'm saying that will the next video would be companion object but what exactly it means and that's that's the first thing the second thing is if you have seen all the videos approximately we have completed 35 videos and then since in the, in the all the videos we have not talked about talked about static keyword and if you're coming from java background we love static keyword right uh, we don't have to create object to call those features and all those things and in scotland we have not seen that yet do we do we use do we use static keyword in kotlin what if i say okay let's try that if i say static here okay if i say static kotlin don't even recognize this as a uh, uh, this as a keyword can you see that uh, it says expecting member declaration what exactly it means so it, static doesn't support in kotlin so how do we achieve that and somewhere we are saying uh, kotlin and java they are 100 percent interoperable which means they should be right and here it's not getting supported how can we achieve static features in kotlin because somewhere we have to link it with java right so what we'll do is we'll start with the companion object first and then let's discuss how can we achieve static features there now to understand uh to understand companion object what i will do is i will create a com companion object as you can see both are the keywords here again we have talked about object before so we have a companion object here now what is companion object the advantage of using this is example if i create a function here called as function show and if i print okay if i print something let's say if i print hello okay so if i want to print hello here and i want to call this method show from main now of course in general terms what we do is we create an object of a class right so we have to create object of this a so that we can call show but what if i say i can simply say a dot show you can see there's no error and if i run this code let's say it is working or not if i say run as or uh, run first code dot kd and okay it's running and you can see we got the output so can you see that we are able to call the object or we are able to call the method directly with the help of class name now you might be wondering hey this is a static static keyword right this is a static method here because if you are able to call that with the help of class name that's a static method right uh that's not the case what happens you know if i go back to runner here which is our java code see if if this is 100 percent if it is 100 percent interoperable what i can simply do is i can say a dot show from here as well right so i should be say i should be able to say a dot show from here and it's not working can you see that we are getting an error it is not able to find the show method now the reason is we are thinking that this is static method because we are able to call from a but this is not the case now if you remember in the earlier videos where we have used object uh if you are using an object keyword you can directly call a method name right we have seen that so this is not a static here this is not giving you a static behavior in case if you want to achieve that if you want to make this static of course we cannot use static keyword here uh, example if even if i try that uh, you can see it will give you some bad words and you say hey static doesn't support here so if you want to use a static you have to inform hey kotlin i'm a java programmer and somewhere i have to link this code with java so allow me to use this method as static the way you can do that is by using an annotation called as add the rate jvm static if you make this show as a static by using the annotation as jvm static and if i go back to runner and can you see that it is working now and if i run this code if i say run where is that run yeah so here it is if i said another main and if i run this code uh, you can see we got the output as hello so now you are able to call this show with the help of class name just because we are using this annotation here which is called as iterate jvm static so again if you want to use the if you want to use a feature of static keyword in kotlin uh, first of all we have to use this keyword which is at the jvm static on the on the uh, on the uh, on the function name and you have to make sure that it's a part of companion object is it compulsory let's try let let me just remove this thing and if i say save okay we are getting some error it says only functions in the name objects are available so you can do that in the in objects or in the companion object okay so if you want to achieve this feature you can do that only in companion object or in the object scope so yeah so indirectly when you say you want to achieve the static keyword remember you have to write companion object and you have to write add rate jvm static 
So that's how you make this as a static keyword. Okay, and that's how you call it. So yeah, that's, that's how we use companion object to use static. In the next video, we're going to talk about what else we can do with the help of companion object. Now there's one more way, there's one more thing in companion object that we can achieve uh, what is what is called as a factory pattern. Now again, uh, if you're coming from Java background, we, have, we do have lots of design patterns, right? Uh, we have factory design pattern, we have single design pattern, and Kotlin somewhere around, they, they implement those things by default. So we just have to use some keywords and they will do it for you. So in the next video, we'll see how do we use or how, do we, how can we use a factory design pattern uh, in, in Kotlin. So yeah, that's it from this video. We have talked about companion object where it will help you to create those static methods. Uh, again, if you don't use this annotation, uh, it is not by default static. You just have to use added JVM static here. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching and do subscribe for further videos, guys.